हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द प्रोग्राम काउंटर एंड डेटा पॉइंटर रजिस्टर्स ऑफ 8051 माइक्रोकंट्रोलर वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस द प्रोग्रामिंग मॉडल ऑफ 8051 इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो प्लीज गो थ्रू इट इन दैट लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस दैट एट जीरो हैज इंटरनल रॉम हियर इट इज रैम एंड सम स्पेशल फंक्शन रजिस्टर्स ROM stores the program and RAM stores the data. Special function registers are used for some special functions, out of which program counter and data pointer registers we are going to discuss today. As there are two memories, ROM and RAM. ROM is used to store the program we have written for the system operation or the programmer have written for the system operation. this program is in the form of an a code so we also called the rom memory or a program memory as an a code memory the microcontroller will execute this program step by step so there must be a register that tells the microcontroller which instruction to be executed next for that purpose we have one special function register and that is program counter in short we call it as an a pc which hold the address of the memory location where the code to be executed is stored let us consider the content of pc is 1000h after completion of the present instruction which microcontroller is executing the next instruction code is present on the memory location is 1000h this pc is a 16 bit register which allows the 8051 to address up to 64 kilobytes of program memory how we have calculated it it is 2 raised to 16 is equal to 65536 normally we say 64000 and we call it as 64k the on chip rom is 4k which is from 00h to 0f ffh memory location here is the address 000h to ffh h indicates here it is a hex number and if it is required we can connect the external rom up to 64k how to connect the external rom and ram to the 8051 microcontroller that part we will discuss in the next coming lectures when the 8051 is powered on the pc register is initialized to 00h memory location which is the location of the first instruction in the program memory as the program executes the program counter register is incremented after each instruction is fetched causing it to point to the next instruction in the memory the pc register can also be modified by certain instructions such as branch instructions which allows the program to jump to the different locations in the memory in that case the pc register is loaded with the address of an a new location this we will discuss when we will discuss the programming of 8051 one very important thing that you have to remember here as we always say every special function register is having some address but program counter is the only register does not have an internal address overall the pc register is a crucial component of 8051 microcontroller as it allows the microcontroller to execute instructions in a sequence and jump to different sections of the program memory as needed same way we have ram memory to store the data ram is also called as an a data memory ram is a memory we can read the data from it and can write the data on it the on chip ram or inbuilt ram is 128 bytes means total 128 memory locations and on each memory location we can store an 8 bit data to point out from which memory location we have to pick up the data or on which memory location we have to store the data we have one special purpose register and that is data pointer in short we call it as dptr that dptr register is a special function register in 8051 microcontroller that is used 
to indirectly access the data memory. The DPTR register is a 16-bit register which consists of two 8-bit register that is DPH which is data pointer higher and DPL that is data pointer low. Together they form a memory address that points to a location in the data memory where the data is to be read from or write to. The DPTR register can be used to access the data memory in two ways. This is done by first loading the 16-bit DPTR register with the address of a data memory location to be accessed and then using the MoveX instruction to transfer the data between the accumulator and the memory location pointed by the DPTR. The DPTR register can also be used to access the code space memory that is ROM. This is done by using MoveC instruction which is used to transfer the data from the code space to the accumulator. These two cases we will discuss in detail when we discuss the instruction set. Overall, the DPTR register is a versatile register of the 8051 microcontroller that provides a convenient way to indirectly access both data and code memory. In next lecture, we will explore the A and B register which are critical for arithmetic, logical and data transfer operation. See you then. Thank you for learning with us. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more in-depth discussion on microcontroller. See you in the next video.